Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this, we're gonna be needing some taper candles. Now this used to be tapered at some point. These are pretty old. I used these candles for another Halloween home decor day white, and I'm actually gonna be using another one that broke. And I'm just going with it, and I'm just gonna pull the rest of the candle out. I'm not gonna be throwing this away because I'm gonna be using this at the end. Cut the excess wick. Then I'll use this candle holders. They are pretty old too. I don't even remember where I got this from, but Amazon has a lot of like really cute ones i do have the diy showing you how to customize this gold and i'm going to be painting the inside but the edges because i need the part in the middle free then i'm going to be using some clay feel free to use polymer clay i just prefer to work with this one i'm going to be making the handles cutting this in half and then just rolling those two pieces of clay i'm doing this like at the same time because i want them as even as possible I'm going to be making one of those ends pointy. The shape that I'm going for is like half. It's like the beginning of the question mark without the rest. My kind of clay dries with air, letting it dry. If you're working with polymer clay, this is when you make it. hot gluing candles on my candle holders and here starts the fun part and the part that i guess i'm gonna have most trouble explaining what i did because i went pretty much back and forth so first of all my tallest candle was way too old and i couldn't even light it so i'm just gonna be cutting the top excess of that then i'm gonna light it i'm gonna wait a little bit so that i can have like some melted wax in there blow it and pretty much drip the melted wax onto the sides of the other candle and you kind of have to go pretty fast because you don't have a lot of time to play around with it it dries within seconds melt the edges like this but then it still looked kind of flat on top here i'm showing you the other candle that i did first and i really liked how it looked so i was basing myself from the other one so i went with my exacto knife and then i just dig a hole of um waxing here it's gonna be messy well i ended up making a mess here yeah until you're happy with how deep it looks light it again i waited to have like melted wax in there again then i did the same thing with the melted wax and the other candle and then i guess i waited a long time because my wax was settling again i decided to take a q-tip and then just remove that and when i removed that it kind of like made a mess on the edges went with my lighter again and this is how i got this effect i guess on the edges and i really like it by just melting that messy wax i light the candle again and this is where you want to be really careful because you're going to be melting the edges by swirling this around one thing that i forgot to mention and it's really important cover your space your table because you're going to end up with melted wax everywhere so using my math craft i do have the review for this one with this movement you're going to have a lot of melted wax dripping that to the other candle blow it out and the edges are going to be quite soft because of the flame it was there so just be careful but you can pretty much mold the shape and the wax that you want to go for so i just did this but again be really careful and wait until it's not hot anymore it's really important i don't want anybody to be hurting themselves because of the ciy when you do this you're gonna have a mess on your table and on your candle holders so i'm just gonna remove all the wax that fell in there with my exacto knife be really careful again and this is glass by the way with glass it's really easy to peel it off like this so my handles are dry now i'm just gonna be using some crazy glue adding my glue to the top of my candle holder and to the bottom of my uh, holder itself now i'm gonna be painting my holders again using the same paint giving this to the three coats and then i'm gonna be using the leftover piece of candle so i'm just gonna go on top going with my lighter and then just pretty much um melting some wax and adding it all over the place and i took my time with this i even dripped some over my uh, candle holders and i think this is what's going to make this look like what it is it's like some candles found at an old house or a mansion they are pretty old and just burned yeah giving the illusion that they have been sitting there forever pretty much but yeah guys this is the idea that i want to share with you so if you're going to be decorating your house hopefully this was helpful and handy and here i'm going to be putting this next to my casper's tombstone i do have the diy for this one i think they look really cute but yeah we like them hopefully you like them too if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up let me know down below and share this thank you so much for watching I'll take you later and take care. Bye.